We just have to plug the holes up to that flow chart. That what used to work two years ago, what used to work last year, just it's not good enough today. We have to elevate the experience. We have to elevate the quality of that experience. All right, all right. Go ahead and check on in if you're with me here today. This is like a surprise uh, recording of Mindset Mastery. Um, completely forgot that today or yesterday was uh, daylight savings time, right? This is, I think this is the last year, uh, come November, that they're going to roll back the clocks uh, for, um, you know, daylight savings time. And, uh, you know, for us, it, we don't get impacted. We're here in Arizona. We don't get impacted. But if you have clients in different states, especially the East Coast, it changes everything. So I had to ch completely change my schedule in order to be able to fulfill not only this, but to fulfill the my rec my uh, my responsibilities um, at uh, 10 o'clock. But I'm here to be here with you. I'm happy to be here with you. And uh, thank you for checking on in. Good morning. What's going on, Jesse, Valerie, Liz, Lorinda, Rocio? What is going on? So today, um, you know, it's one of these things that I've just been writing on this cloud nine um, over the last few weeks and in through the weekend about how important it is to refine and enhance who you are, to refine and enhance who your business is, right? And uh, this requires a clear intention of what you want to accomplish and what you want to create. And, you know, these times, these uncertain times is what really gives you the advantage, of being able to to create something much bigger than what we thought we could, or at least I thought I could for a long time, right? And this is where I really want you to be clear about if you are intentional about the next steps and where you want to go from here moving forward, like what can that create for you in a year, two years? There is a, a little bit of an uneasiness going on here in the market. You're hearing different things, and as soon as you think things are improving, all of a sudden you start hearing this other thing coming up, right? Like we just heard about a big bank collapsing, one of the largest banks to collapse since 2008. And so we're starting to get our confidence. Maybe you have more deals in the pipeline, and all of a sudden you hear these new, this news, and you're like, huh, what might happen? What happens if my bank closes, right? What about if there's a bank run at my local uh, bank? What's going to happen then? And it really starts to question our liquidity. Um, are we in a position to be able to survive six months, 12 months, if something like that were to happen? Now, this is something that I think we have to constantly be at battle with as an entrepreneur. We're constantly like our backs are against the wall, right? We can never just relax. Things are not ever going to just remain the same. There's always like these, these moving parts that is unsettling. And the problem with that is that it becomes more unsettling for those that are not consistent with just, being, just doing the right things for yourself and for your business every single day. It's very unsettling and really just rocks the boat when you are inconsistent with the things you're supposed to do, right? You know you're supposed to reach out to your clients. You know you should be improving your systems. You know you should be out there marketing every single day. And when you don't, and then you hear this news, it really just makes you freeze. And the reason I say that we can take a big advantage uh, of this market, of this uneasiness, is because if you are consistent with those things right now, understand that your competition, most of your competition won't be. Now, the top 1%, that's a different conversation. They love this time, and I actually love it as well. Our brokerage has grown tremendously here over the last four or five months. Because I've been focused on refining and enhancing the experience here at Azen Associates. I've been, I've been working diligently on building more systems and processes, bringing more people in to coach. Every, every meeting now is in person. I've created uh, several coaching programs to be able to enhance and refine the process. And this is where I want you to start looking at with your own business. How can you refine what you currently have? How can you enhance the experience for your clients? So that when they work with you, there is no question you are the best of the best. I think oftentimes we spend too much, too much time and effort just trying to get new clients in that we don't look at our own process. We don't realize that there's a lot of holes in that entire flow chart. Like every experience is different. 
when it should be the same, when it should be an elevated experience for your clients. Understand that if you go deep with your clients, if you tell them that you're going to go above and beyond, that you're going to give them a stellar experience throughout the entire process, they're more likely to refer you. They're more likely to speak highly of you. But sometimes we're, we're in this place where we're just trying to get the next deal. And right now, that's not the time. Understand that the market is working against you. Buyers are not just going to fall in your lap. Sellers are, are not just going to be as easy to, to convince them to price it right as opposed to just trying to maximize the returns. So you have to be very, very skilled on how you communicate. You also have to be very skilled on how you market so you can get the right people through the pipeline. But it's got to be an enhanced and refined experience. And this is the type of conversation I've been having with, the, with this group, uh, the Inner Circle. Some of our top real estate agents here within the organization, we're, we're, we're talking through this of how can we refine their systems and processes. Because if we spend too much time just trying to you know, bring on more clientele base, but we're not seeing the bigger opportunity. The bigger opportunity, if you show them and have them experience something like no other, that th they have referrals like within, you know, a short distance of, 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 of closing a transaction. It doesn't have to, you don't have to wait until you actually close the transaction to ask for the referral. If you're so if you're so good and you're so confident in what you do, you start asking through the referrals from the very beginning, from the moment you meet them, through your buyer's consultation, through the moment you get them pre-qualified, contract accepted, the moment that you uh, are, over, are able to successfully um, um, negotiate their, their, um, their inspection period, the appraisal, the walkthrough. Think about all those opportunities. Refining your process means that you're going to be able to expand your business, but you got to be very clear about what it is that you want to deliver. It has to be an elevated service. It has to be very, very diligent on every aspect of your business. It can't just run through a one-man show. Your transaction coordinator needs to be involved. This is what an elevated experience does because right now, if you don't, you're always going to chase the new client when in fact we realize now, right? that the only way to grow your business, there's only three ways. Think about this. It's the new client, it's a higher price point, and it's your clients buying multiple times. So with real estate, it's a little bit different, right? When we think about multiple times, how, how can you get your clients to buy multiple times? Well, it doesn't necessarily mean that they have to buy. Now, it'd be nice, right, if you can get them into a nice investment property afterwards to get them to, to buy multiple investment properties. But what if you do such a great job that you buy through them, meaning to their family and friends? Think about this. But again, we get caught up too much on trying to just get the new client outside of our sphere that we forget if we have an elevated experience, if we refine our processes, and if we are very clear with our clients of what our intention is, and if you think about this, you already do it. You're, you're going to go above and beyond to deliver for them. You're, not only that, but you're also going to make sure you negotiate properly, that you communicate effectively. So if you tell them that from the very beginning and then set a, a, uh, a standard of what you expect from them, which is to refer you to their family and friends. Imagine that conversation. I'm going to give you an upscale and unbelievable experience. But what I need from you is to start referring me your family and friends and to start thinking about this now. Imagine that conversation at the very beginning at your buyer's consultation where you say, I'm going to effectively negotiate. I'm going to go out to bat for you. I'm a master negotiator. I'm going to put you in the best terms possible. And what I need you to do is to start thinking about who in your sphere is going to buy or sell. I need you to bring this conversation up to your family and friends. Because throughout the process, I am going to ask you for referrals. Because I'm going to go above and beyond for you. 
I'm going to negotiate aggressively for you. Is that something you can do for me? But when we're just trying to get through a transaction, asking for a referral becomes like something you attach at the very end. Oh, here are your keys. By the way, do you know of anybody who wants to buy or sell? But when you are so confident in your process, when you're so confident in what you deliver, you can speak to your clientele base in that manner. Because at the end of the day, if you're, if you're creating results right now in this market, with this much, with so many things working against you, the media, the interest rates, think about this. And if you're able to be successful during this time, you're really good. You got to give yourself some credit here. You've already separated yourself from the masses. But yet, many still tend to operate from a place where they think they're just an average agent or below average agent, or just starting out, having the same conversations, as opposed to elevating that conversation and refining that conversation. And these are the things that I've really pivoted on. I, I want to make sure that we're not just having the same conversation, we're adapting with the times. And you getting really good about how you deliver to your clientele base, about being very clear about communicating every step of the process, where maybe they get a video from you at the moment they hit a milestone. Maybe they, you know, you're above and beyond where your transaction coordinator is able to see any problems before it even occurs, right? Where you're ahead of the game, where they never get confused about anything. And to a point where now they feel like they need to be able to refer somebody to you. And that's called refining and expanding a business. But again, if you're just looking for the next transaction, then you'll always chase transactions. How about start working towards the experience? Think about what that would do for your business. And this is the, the type of level we have to start thinking at now. Where can you get better within your, your entire process to make sure that you are able to continue to separate yourself from the competition? Like, look at your experience. Look at your client's experience when they deal with you. Is it the same one or is it off the cuff? Or is every experience different? That's the problem, right? If every experience is different for every client, that's a problem. When you have a, a good, solid flow of how business should run, that's what, that's what really separates everyone, right? If you think about this, like when you go to a five-star restaurant versus a, a, a regular Denny's, right? There, there's certain experiences that you expect, a higher level. But many... Agents run it like if it were just a Denny's restaurant all over the place, maybe a little disorganized, right? Anyone will do as far as a server. Any client will do. You just want, want to get that next transaction. Setting that clear standard of how people come through that, pipe, through that pipeline with the buyer's consultation, the explanation of the buyer's consultation, and before even that, like, how can you make the experience when they first contact you? How can you set yourself up as the authority versus just any other agent? And it's all about the packaging and the presentation of it all, right? And you can only do that if you have them, if you can direct them to a certain place where they can learn more about you, not just your social media channel. So just imagine this, someone contacts you, how are they gonna do more research upon you? Do you have a landing page that tells them who you are, what you're about, what your process is gonna entail? Or are you simply just getting on the phone to send them to a lender, hoping that they close it for you? And these are the type of thoughts we have to have now. It's like, how can I have this experience so that when a buyer comes through the pipeline, I can position myself as an authority versus just another commodity of an agent.
These are the things we have to talk about. These are the things that we're doing as an organization to be able to, to also teach. So I'm excited about the next steps that we're taking as an organization, but this is where we need to go. It's really setting yourself up as an authority by refining your processes, refining your experience. Like I had this epiphany last week as, as I was going through, um, I did three different one-on-ones last week. And these are like a four to five hour experience. And I was just blown away by the talent we have here at Asian Associates. Completely blown away. Um, and one of the things that I noticed is that, you know, we just have to plug the holes up to that flow chart. That what used to work two years ago, what used to work last year, just it's not good enough today. We have to elevate the experience. We have to elevate the quality of that experience. We can't leave it all up, to, uh, all up for grabs. Our clients should, should feel like they, they, they'll make a mistake if they go anyone else besides you. That was always my thought process behind every transaction, like it is now. Like You're going to make a mistake if you go anywhere else because I'm so passionate about what I do. And I continue to get motivated because I'm working in the process, in my systems, in my infrastructure. Understand that if you're going through the ups and downs of motivation, it's because you're refusing to do what your business requires. There is another layer to you. There's another level to your business. But we're too caught up with trying to get the next transaction that we don't realize when we do, we're going to give them a, a, an off-the-cuff experience, not something that's refined and elevated. But as I'm, as I'm talking to these different agents in these one-on-ones, I'm like, I, I, I get the sense of like, we're, we're about to take it to a whole different level here. And as I was in my car, th this thought came to me. We're going to be a brokerage that houses more 25 million plus producers than anyone else. Like that's something that just came to me. I'm like, it is, and it's possible. How could it not be? With the amount of talent, with the amount of individuals we have here, the atmosphere, the environments, how can that not be possible? And when you start seeing more and more $25 million plus producers around you, guess what that's going to do for you? You're going to want to see yourself there. You're going to want to refine your processes and your systems. You're going to want to elevate and refine your game. And that's, what, that's the mission I'm on. It was so clear. And I'm really going to help these individuals with whatever I can to make sure that they get there. And I hope that inspires you. Maybe you're not up to the 5 million yet. Maybe you're not up to the 10 million. Understand that that's just because that's where you want to be. There's a wealth of opportunity out there. And a lot of people are hesitant right now. And I'm telling you, like, strike and strike often. I'm telling you to refine so you can expand. Enhance the experience with every client. When somebody reaches out, it's got to be a, a, another layer of, of, this, of this passion that you have for the business, not just going through the motions. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can, we'll see what we can do. Let me send you over to my lender. It's like, how can you really pour into that relationship? Because they probably know your next buyer and seller within their own sphere. It's not just about, you know, flipping them like we did in 2020, 2021, and most of 2022. We just can't have these phone conversations and expect them to be loyal. We just can't send them a message on social media and expect that loyalty. You're going to have to pour your time into them. But during that time, it's enhancing that experience overall. These are the things I want you to think about. Yes, it's important to market. It's the bloodline of your business. But what's going to happen once you get them through that pipeline? Is it just a disorganized mess? Or is it something that's defined? Something that's high quality? Where at the moment they walk in through the doors of your business, they're just like, oh my goodness, this is five-star service here. 
And yet, many agents that have been in the business five, seven, ten years are still operating their business like they did when they first started. No evolution of systems, no evolution of experience, yet they have a wealth of knowledge, yet they're better than most, but they compete where everybody else competes. Understand it's real easy to separate yourself from this, but it's going to require you to look at your systems, your processes, and your infrastructure. And it requires a, a real forward conversation with your client about what you're going to deliver and what you expect back from them. And this is where a lot, make, a lot of people make mistakes. A lot of agents make mistakes. They think their clients are doing them a favor by using them as a real estate agent. They say things like, I would love to help you. Please use me. At that point, you just become a commodity. When you elevate your service, you, you elevate yourself from the masses. And in fact, they're benefiting more than you are from them. They're benefiting more from your negotiation, from your communication, from your experience than you are from that paycheck. But when you're working paycheck to paycheck, that gets clouded sometimes. You are valuable. Don't act like a simple commodity. But again, that requires work to refine and enhance your experience. Guys, I wanted to make this one short. I want to make this one straight to the point. But I'd like to hear what you're hearing in this. Does that make sense? On how important it is to, to make sure that our clients get a higher level of service. A level of service that they're going to talk about. That they're going to share with their family and friends. There's a lot of money being left on the table because you're just looking at this from a transactional standpoint as opposed to going deeper and like just completely just shocking them with your level of service. This is where we need to take it. So start thinking about and looking at your entire infrastructure and process. What can you enhance? Can you enhance the buyer consultation? What does a video right after the buyer consultation uh, mean to your business? How about the next time that your client gets pre-qualified, you just don't have the lender just send the pre-qualification, but you get excited about the step that they decided to take on, where you call them and you're overly excited for them, for making that decision. It's a huge step, a huge milestone. But when you look at it as from a commodity, it's like, okay, you were pre-qualified, awesome, let's go look at homes. It's like you're missing out a great opportunity here. When you get a contract accepted with the terms that your clients are happy with, you got to show all that passion behind that, the excitement behind that. When you're able to successfully negotiate the Benzer repairs, show that passion behind that. When you hit the milestone of hitting the appraisal, be excited about that. Be excited for them about that. When you're doing your final walkthrough, just think about this. It's not just a transaction to them. It's a life-changing experience, and yet you're handling it like it was a, a, a walk through the park. Take yourself back to when you purchased your first home. How nervous were you? How excited were you? And this is what I mean by enhancing the experience here. Show that passion for it. Let your clients know you deeply care. Let your clients... Know that you're seeking for them to send you all their family and friends. Because if they send them anywhere else, they're not going to get the level of service you can provide. If they send them to anywhere else, they might run into a part-time agent that doesn't have as much passion as you do. So it's almost their responsibility to send you all their family and friends. But you got to make that clear up front in the beginning. This is the way you operate a higher level business by letting them know what the requirements are. And you will also elevate your standard when you set this tone. Now you better over-deliver. If you tell them up front 
that they're going to go through an experience like no other, you better deliver at that level. So it's an accountability aspect for you as well. But you got to proclaim this. You got to be able to tell them this. No more transactional. This has to be passionate. I can only imagine if I came to these things like, all right, guys, um, stay motivated and inspired. Let's go get them. It's all in the packaging. It's all in the experience. It's all on how I show up. If you have a lot of clients on the fence, maybe you're not showing up as excited as, as they needed you to be. Maybe they're not making a decision or making an offer because you're just like, huh, okay, let's go look at another home. Help them make decisions. Paint the picture of possibility for them. They're with you because they, they believed you could get them what they were seeking. But it's your experience and how you communicate, the energy that you provide. It's how you approach the entire game that's really going to make the difference for them. So if you have a lot of people on the fence, it's like it's not on them. You could blame it on your clients all day long, but it's really probably something that's broken within your system or process or infrastructure. Something that's not all there with your energy. Maybe they feel like you're bothered. Maybe they feel like you're just trying to get them to a home as opposed to really understanding what they're looking for. How is it that they can go through the entire process of getting pre-qualified, submit all their paperwork, and then just sit on the fence? There's something wrong with your system. Let's audit that. Maybe you didn't show that level of enthusiasm as you should have. Maybe you didn't set the standard of what's expected. Maybe they thought they needed to look at 50 homes when you should have been clear that within the first five homes, you typically get your clients under contract. Which in their minds, like, oh, it's okay to submit an offer. And again, the more you're able to dial in into your systems, the better refined that system will be. So yes, get more clientele base, go market, but then look at how you can deliver a higher level of service. Justin, J Jason, sorry. I'm getting from this that we can all be guilty of it, but catch yourself sooner when you're acting like a commodity and shift back to being the professional that is also the authority. Absolutely. And like, we all get into that, right, Jason? Where we're just like, okay. But as soon as you see your value, as soon as you see your wealth of experience, the amount of closings that all of us have had, it's like, there's no comparison. But yet we want to compete like a commodity. It's like, what's, what's wrong with our mindset at that point, right? And it's not an entitlement. What it means is like, just use that as the fuel we need to set that higher level of experience. And that's why I'm so excited as I continue to have more of these conversations with my inner circle. We're going to have more $25 million plus producers than them, in this brokerage than anywhere else. Mark my words. Mark my words. That's how much I believe in these individuals. That's how much I believe in you. Who are you going to be this year? By December 31st. Are you going to be that $10 million producer? That $15, $20 million producer? Maybe it's $40 million. And the only person that can decide that is you. But you can't operate your business the way it's been going the last two, three years, the last five years. It's got to take a radical approach. You got to take a radical approach and the standard has to be much higher. So for those of you on here, all my veterans on here, like stop operating your business like you just started in the business. How can you refine it? How can you be direct with your client so they can see your value? How can you position yourself? So as opposed to getting like, you know, this phone call and, and, and automatically trying to get them pre-qualified, I want you to set your buyer's consultation. But before that, I want them to apply to even meet with you. What kind of tone are you setting there? And when they go to this application page, they're able to see who you are, what you're about, what you stand for, where you give them a breakdown of what your passions are. So 
that they understand that they're working with somebody that's truly passionate and experienced in this business. And that's where we're going as an organization. And as we start building the systems out, we're going to raise the standard. As you start seeing more $10 million producers within the organization, organization more $15 million producers, more $25 million producers than any other brokerage in the state, it's going to fuel you. But you got to begin that process now. Come in with that passion. Quit coming into it like with this lackluster approach. Like kill the day today. Kill the experience wherever your clients are in, that, in, in, in the process. Maybe they're in escrow. What can you do to elevate and enhance that experience for them? Maybe you just got a few prequels. How can you do that now to enhance that experience for them? Maybe you delivered keys here over the last few months. How can you enhance that experience for them, for people that you just delivered for? This is where we need to start thinking. Times have changed. You better get better. You better get better. All right, who else do we got? Uh, yes, it's true. By providing great service, people will refer you, family, friends, and others. It's like going to a restaurant. And if a person has a good experience, you will recommend it to others. Well, I hope you got the gist of this message. That's exactly what I'm going to do as soon as we're done here. Elevate the experience for all my clients. Elevate the experience for the agents within the organization. Elevate the experience for even people within my family, right? You want motivation? Set a standard for yourself that you, that you know you can be proud of. Guys, I want to thank you for joining me for this episode of Mindset Mastery. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye now. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Badass Agents Podcast, brought to you by AZ and Associates and Do The Work Coaching and Consulting. You can watch this and other episodes by subscribing to our channel on YouTube or by visiting us directly at badassagents.com. And of course, you can listen to this episode and many others on your preferred podcast provider.